On June 3, 2013, the United States Pharmacopeia has published a second supplement to the USP 36 National Formulary 31. This video informs you about the relevant changes in the general chapters about weighing, namely USP General Chapters 41 and 1251, which will be official on December 1, 2013. The last thing you should know about the new USP weighing chapters is how to avoid weighing errors. The minimum net sample weight M min of a balance can be expressed by following equation. We've already seen the chapter 41 criteria for repeatability. Solving this equation for the mass yields that the minimum weight must be equal or larger than 2000 times s. USP states that the standard deviation is virtually independent of the sample mass at the lower end of the weighing range. Hence, a test weight of a few percent of the balance capacity can also be used to assess repeatability and derive the minimum weight from this formula. Let's make an example. The standard deviation was measured as 7 microgram, so the minimum weight equals 14 milligram. Establishing the minimum weight of a balance is a simple and effective way to avoid weighing errors. You may think of the minimum weight as the accuracy limit of a balance. As long as you weigh above this limit, measurements are sufficiently accurate. It is important to note that USP now also gives recommendations how to establish the minimum weight for applications outside of USP 41. If not subject to the requirements of General Chapter 41, the minimum weight value may vary depending on the required weighing tolerance and the specific use of the balance. This provides useful guidance to ensure accurate measurements of weighing equipment in other parts of the pharmaceutical process chain as well, guaranteeing consistently good product quality. The minimum weight applies to the sample weight, not to the tear or gross weight. A common misconception is that if the tear vessel is larger than the minimum weight, the weighing process is in compliance. It is now clearly stated that the net sample weight must be considered and not the gross weight. USP 1251 provides practical recommendations for the qualification and operation of balances. Among others, it describes several environmental factors that can influence the performance of a balance. For example, air currents, temperature variations, vibrations, electrostatics, and many more. Because of changing environmental conditions, different operators, and other factors that can influence the repeatability of the balance while in use, when possible, weighings should be made at larger values than the minimum weight. It is therefore recommended to use a safety factor, which ensures that the smallest net weight is sufficiently larger than the minimum weight determined at a particular time by a particular person. The revised USP weighing chapters 41 and 1251 provide valuable new information to improve the quality management of balances. On December 1, 2013, they will be official. We help you achieve compliance with the new USP chapters. Choose the fast lane for boarding with the weighing experts from Metla Toledo.